a FAM production for all things mattress. FAM.news. If you're watching on video, you're looking at Mark Quinn and a triple black Manta eye mask. We are going to be reviewing these coming up, but we decided he's going to Costa Rica. I'm driving to the beach and staying in a condo. We're going to wear our eye masks over spring break and give you the full on review. Triple black. Is it really going to black it out that much? But coming up on the show today, we have a nice little surprise for you. Okay. So if you haven't heard the fam audio stories, we are going to give you some previews of some of our favorite fam.news audio stories. And no, they're not our favorites just because Quinn does amazing reads on some of these. <laughs> they're really our favorite, favorite, favorites. And you can get all these audio stories at fam.news. Welcome to the Dos Marco Show with Mark Kinsley and Mark Quinn, where mattress and furniture leaders gather to grow, get the inside scoop, tell stories, and take tequila shots. Una, dos, tequila! Welcome aboard. Here's your passport to a planet filled with the mattress industry's brightest minds and biggest ideas. Meet your guides. I'm Mark Kinsley, president and CEO of Englander. And I'm Mark Quinn, co-founder of Spink & Co. and VP of Sherwood Betting. Together, they are Dos Marcos. The galaxy's greatest mattress podcast has liftoff in three, two, one. That. Well, I have to say, this is actually an intervention. This is not your standard podcast, Quinn. Why is that? I am, I am intervening. Well, about what? What did I do? You, my friend, um, this is an intervention of one-on-one, -on -one, which equals dose. You are uh, throwing your weight around as a mattress podcast celebrity <laughs> to try and bend Marriott to your will. And I wanted to have an intervention about this. We do not toss around our weight to try and get Marriott to do what we want Marriott to do. Let me, okay? let me tell you what, I'm brother. saying it right here and right now. Hey, let me tell you what, man. I have thousands of nights spent in their property. I ask one thing. I'm going on vacation. I'm like, hey, man, can you guys like hook us up with a little bit of an upgrade? I never get up. We need to stay at courtyards and you know that they're always booked or whatever and i'm like a top level whatever their thing is but so i don't make any bone beef about that at all but i'm like hey look this one trip i'm taking my family can you hook me up with an upgrade here's what's going on and the, the response i got back was so lame it was like oh well we'd like to but you booked it through a, an agency and because of that and i'm like you know what that's bullshit kinsley okay i said it i said the whole word the, the I missed the bleep button. The this time. swear word because I'm Sorry, trying to kids. express my passion for this. You know what happens to the to the the Jesse's approach of you know surprise and delight. How about that? How about just like do something for this guy that spent so many nights in your property? How about just go the extra mile? How about hooking him up? How about giving him something to you know talk about and make it special, right? And I'm like, look, man, we got a podcast. We, we've done some other, we got a media property and it, I'm going to, I'm going to tell this story. You have to choose how it ends. Either it ends with you guys going above and beyond and creating a kick-ass experience for my family, or you let the corporate culture kill you and drown delight and surprise under the water until there's no breath left inside of it at all. So that could be the ending. You have to pick the ending. Choose your own adventure, right? Do you understand? I mean, hey, well, I got fair? to choose my own adventure. You're actually going to stay at the property in Costa Rica where I've stayed. I've asked for the Mark and Kinsley room, actually. It's great. <laughs> it's it's filled with uh, it was filled with ants uh, whenever we got there, uh, or bugs, not ants necessarily. I'm not even kidding you. This is a true story because it was our anniversary, and they put some sort of cake and some fruit <laughs> on our bed, and it's Costa Rica, and things are going to get into places. And they had swarmed into our room. And so I think we ended up moving rooms. Uh, but the, the property ended up being amazing. And I did get to choose my own adventure as well. Which was? And that adventure was there was a guy that worked. So we stayed at the adults only area. And so we had this nice pool. Is that nice the all naked really... section? Is that where you guys were? Uh, oh, that's wherever I go. <laughs> 
<laughs> the European pool. That's where you and Tara hang out. Okay, keep going. And so there was a guy there named Bergen, and he's a really nice guy. And I'm like, what's going on in town? Like, what should I know about that's more locals and insider? And he said, oh, I'll, I'll take you. And I'm like, you're going to take me? He's like, yeah, there's a rodeo going on. Do you want to go? And I said, yeah, it sounds great. So I went to the people at the front desk, and I said, hey, is this guy Bergen cool? And like, he said he's going to get his friend's car, and he's going to pick up his girlfriend. And then my wife and I are supposed to meet him at the gates outside the property. And then he's going to take us to a rodeo. And she, I, she's like, who is it? And I go, Bergen. She's like, oh, Bergen's great. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. He's the best. And he's just the, he was just the nicest guy. And sure enough, so we go to a rodeo. By the way, should you choose this adventure, Quinn, a rodeo, in this town anyway, in Costa Rica, uh, over in Guanacaste, um, a rodeo is a bunch of drunk locals getting out into an arena and chasing a bull around and trying to touch it and dragging people out whenever they get horned, which there were like 50 people running around. I could have just jumped in at any point and just ran around with this bull trying to touch it. Um, but I, had had, I, I was apparently in a decent state of mind because I had been having some beer. And I'm like, I'm not going to do that. Like, I don't want to end up in a Costa Rican hospital. Um, but all this to say, to bring it full circle, if they don't upgrade you, you just easy with throwing around your weight as a celeb. Okay. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I wish I was a celebrity. It would be, it would be no problem. I wouldn't have to throw my weight around, but we'll see, right? We'll see where the story ends. I'll come back. I'll report in and uh, hopefully they make the, the right call. But I mean, you know, we like to tell great stories, right? We want to come on this show and celebrate people that get it right and do cool stuff and create great experiences for people. That's the story I want to tell. So we'll see if they let me tell it. So did you touch the bull, by the way, or did you just like back out of that and say no? You know, you and I, we were in a rodeo of sorts, right? We did the, the cow milking. Did you do better touching the bull than you did us milking the cow? I didn't jump in the arena. I just sat up okay. on top of the fence and watched. Okay. It, sometimes in horror, as they like dragged people that had been knocked out, literally out of the arena, it happened multiple times. So I'm like, I'm going to pump the brakes on that one. So that's my story. So let me know how your Costa Rican adventure turns okay. out. And speaking of telling great stories, yes. last week at Nationwide, uh, I mean, we had Dana Carvey on the show. He was one of the speakers at Nationwide, but they told some great stories at Nationwide during prime time. And just what a great, uh, it was like, okay, the last time probably that we'll have to do this widespread virtual before Nationwide prime time reconvenes in, per in person and having the people there to tell those stories and to advance us forward and help independent dealers navigate what's happening in the mattress space today and the furniture space. It's a great experience to have. It is, you know, Whitaker, I, I, you know, we, we talk a lot about prime time and one of our key connector points is Mike Whitaker. And he just does an amazing job of kind of shepherding that whole thing. And he does a lot of stuff in classes. He gives a lot of himself in those education classes. And so anyway, he, he's the first guy you see when you pop up onto the main stage. So that's kind of cool. Mike does a, a great job of like facilitating a lot of that. Um, SSB was on there. They had a great conversation. I listened to the TSI speech about um, the new posturepedic program and the new levels they have. I listened to Chad talking about technology integration into retail. That was very cool. Um, got to listen. So Chad Fisher was was actually giving a speech this time. He was luring a Bigfoot onto stage. No, no, no. He was actually the main dude, yeah. man. He was like bringing the thunder, and he did a great job. And then good job, Chad. And then uh, Bob Munkle, man, right in the middle of his show, gave us a shout out. That was really cool. I'm glad I got to see that. Thank you, Bob Munkle, for sharing some love Thanks there. You, Bob. Thanks, Bob, very much. And uh, Jeff Rose did his usually great job at the merch show. What else? Johnny Lamp was interviewing. Who was he interviewing? Uh, he was interviewing Bob Munkle. So Johnny texted me in the middle of his. He's like, oh, man, I hope this is going well. I'm like, look, you're a beautiful human being and you're crushing it. So anyway, just a lot of fun. There's so much information. Kinsey, I, I can't even like... I didn't have time to like listen to all of it, but my gosh, you can go back in and there's hours and hours and hours of video. So um, anyway, we have a lot of a lot of catching up to do on the stuff we didn't get to see. And that I have to say is one of the great things about uh, some of these events like primetime with Nationwide being virtual is you can go back and reabsorb it. You can share some of that with your team members who might not have been able to be present. So thank you to Nationwide for 
keeping us connected, keeping independent retail connected during these crazy times that, that continue. Um, and hey, as we get back to normal, uh, whatever that new normal might look like, I, I'm glad that we're gonna be more connected than ever. And, and we want you to be connected to ideas and innovation and news that's happening. And one of the ideas, one of the innovations that we love is door counts. Our, our buddies, Jerry and Amber and Jack and Brad and the whole team at door counts. We, we, we love these people because they have a heart for our industry. You know, if you, if you don't know the story, you really need to go back and listen to the Brad Parker episode. Brad is one of the founders of door counts and Brad operates a six store lazy boy operation in the Pacific Northwest in the Oregon area. And he, this is, this guy scratched his own itch here with door counts. How many people are coming in? What's happening to them when they're in your store? Are they assigned to somebody? What if an NBA basketball player comes into your store and leaves and you never know about it and nobody ever helped them? What a huge missed opportunity. And so door counts is just, I mean, it's, it's a magic wand traffic blindness be gone. Poof. You are a, mag a magician. You really are. Except you know, you're not, you're not have to break out of handcuffs or a straight jacket. You get to see everything that's happening with this retail sales cloud. It's more than just clicking a, a, a button and seeing how many people are coming to your store. You're doing something with them. You're serving them. It's all the stuff that needs to happen in this day and age. And, and right now, um, 90 days free, 90 days, completely free. When you try out door counts 3.0 and, and if it's not for you, if you find out it's not for you, Jerry is going to peel off. 150 bucks and give it back to you just for giving it a try. Thank you, Jerry, for doing that because it really does remove, not only removes the risk of like, gosh, am I going to bring this in and not want it, or it's going to be too much for us, or our sales team is not going to be bought in. You're really going to be on the backside of that. Okay. No harm, no foul. Actually, I ended up, uh, you know, in the black here with it. Um, it's a no brainer. You can start today at doorcounts.com. You can contact us and we'll get you in touch with Jerry and his team. You can always text us at 843-MARCOS2, M-A-R-C-O-S, 843-MARCOS2. We love helping people out. Um, so good stuff. And, and look, more good stuff is over at fam.news. If you haven't heard, the new home, the new umbrella for, for, the, fam, for the Dos Marcos show is the fam. It means for all things mattress. And the fam, just like a family, is growing. We live there. We've got the Mic It Up podcast. We've got Just Stories with Brett Thornton that just launched with Sleep Train founder Dale Carlson as the kickoff episode. Amazing. How about Matt We've got Man? the Matt Man podcast. There you go. Yeah. Put on that cape, baby. But one of the things that we want to do is give you a little taster right here on the Dos Marcos show of the audio stories because every piece of written content that appears on our site has an accompanying audio story that goes with it. And here's the cool thing. If you go subscribe to the FAM audio stories, if you type it into Apple, it'll pop up. The FAM, F-A-M, audio stories. If you subscribe, every audio story we create will populate in that feed first before it ever goes live on the site. So it, you really do get a benefit for subscribing, which is you're going to be the first to know about all of our news, all of our articles, all the audio stories that go live. And Quinn and I today... Since he's jetting off to Costa Rica and we don't want to hold him up because he's going to flex his muscle on those Marriott punks. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to play some of our favorite audio stories for you to give you a taste of it right here on the Dos Marcos show. I chose to, Quinn chose to, Quinn, you go first. You think? All right. So one of my favorites, because it was an interruption for me, like, I mean, Kinsley, you and I have been talking um, for a while about how sleep is a pillar of health. Right. So you've got the three legged school stool. That's another way people talk about that. So it's, it's, I went to the three legged the, cause you, you did the race, you know, the three legged race three -legged that race. was at school. Yeah. 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 So this is a stool <laughs> you can sit on. Um, and, um, the, the three legs are nutrition, exercise and sleep. But the way that we're talking about it now is that sleep is not one of the legs. The sleep is the seat part, right? That the legs attach to because you don't have anywhere to sit if you don't have the foundation element of sleep. And I love that sleep is the foundational element of which everything else is built. I love the, I love the idea of that. And it makes sleep even a bigger 
part of mental and physical health. So in this article, Kinsley, we talk about um, hormone production, right? So leptin and elevated grel ghrelin. Is that how you pronounce it? You don't even know. Ghrelin. That's what I'm going to say is mm -hmm. ghrelin. And these are the hormones. That ghrelin makes your stomach start growling. Ghrelin makes you growl. And leptin is uh, another one of the um, uh, hormones. And the lower the leptin, uh, your body isn't uh, sending a signal to yourself to stop eating. So that's a big one, right? And so anyway, it talks about that. But if you don't have... Let's play the story. What's that? Let's play the story. Well, I'm going to play the story, but I just want to tell you, it's the foundation of life. Sleep is, and that's the whole point of this. And so it's not one of the legs anymore. It is the shizzle, and that's the foundational element. So go ahead, roll that beautiful story, Kinsley. All right, story number two. This one's, I'm going to take this one, okay? You have $150,000 to start a mattress store. Go. Okay, so I love this story because AM to PM, our boy Alex Milstein, who is managing editor of the fam, doing a great job writing and organizing and all the stuff behind the scenes and in front of the scenes many times. Uh, we posed a question. Actually, we found this question on the Mattress Industry Network group. Shout out to Steve Houck, uh, doing a great job bringing people together to ask questions, share ideas, and really just kind of serve each other. And um, so it was really cool to pose this question. Okay, if I'm getting into the business, I got 150,000 bucks, what are you going to do with it first? And so people like Stu Segura and Jerry Wong and Josh Rigsby and Chris Reinken, they all weighed in on this topic. And so I want you to be thinking as you listen to this story, if you had $150,000 to start a mattress store, what would you do with it? Did, did, did this team of experts, did these, uh, these people that actually operate stores uh, do what you think you would do? Or are there other areas where you would put those funds? So here it is. All right, Quinn, this next one's you, my friend. Of course, you got to take it back to sex. Did you, like, did you like how I didn't interrupt you during your synopsis of your story? I didn't cut you off as I just rolled the story. Did you notice how I didn't do that? I felt like, honestly, you were giving away too much of it, and we were just going to be repeating what you were saying. I'm just telling you how it hurt me, and I think you need to be like sensitive to that. You need to have some empathy for my pain, okay? I know you're a sensitive guy, and for that, I'm, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry for hurting your feelings. Can you accept my apology? I accept it. I thought you were going to say, Hey, I'm not Marriott, okay? <laughs> Calm down. Do not bring out your axe hey, you know, on me. No, man. I, th th then don't make me flex. I'm just, I, thought, I thought what you were going to say is, Okay, I'm sorry that you don't understand the price. <laughs> like, so I'm sorry that you're a moron. That's what I thought you were going to say. Okay, so. Well, hey, before we get to the sex, should okay. we do our, our sleep tip and our traffic Ooh, driver? Yeah, I got a great sleep tip. You ready? Okay, hold on. Let's Roll play that the music. Footage, hold on. Baby. It's time to become a sleep superhero. So, by the way, that is Matt Man's music as well. So, if you listen to the audio stories on our show, why did you rip off his? Thank you, Matt Man, for letting us use your music. Why did you rip off his story? Uh, no, I think the the sleep tip of the day is going to be all about schedule, or less about schedule, and more about finding time for a nap. Right. So, my wife is the queen of napping. And she loves it. And, you know, they say a good nap in the middle of the day can actually help you increase productivity. If you were kicking her in her sleep, she wouldn't have to have so many naps. Let me tell you something. She, was, she wears this face mask, like face mask now. And so she just blocks me out, man. She can't see anything. Um, no, but she loves the nap. So um, Michael Bruce, remember him? Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor. Yeah. I heard him talk about this. It's the Nappuccino. So here's the, here's the thing. You take coffee and you drink a cappuccino or a, 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 a cup of coffee. Say you're about 2.30 in the afternoon, you drink it right about 2.30, then you lay down, right? And then you take uh -huh. a 20 minute power nap. And by the time you wake up, that caffeine's kicking in and you're ready to go. And that way you can have the benefit of the nap and the rejuvenation from that. And then the benefit of the caffeine, because when you wake up, you're gonna feel charged. So there you go, that's your sleep tip. And why is that a sleep tip? It's because if you're taking little naps throughout the day and you're not so tired, it will, you'll be less likely to drink caffeine at five o'clock in the afternoon. So there you go, Kinsley. That's your sleep tip for today. Are you ready to drive more foot traffic? 
You know I am voiceover guy. Who's not ready to drive more foot traffic? People like Ronald Rodriguez of Rodriguez Home Furniture weighed in and gave us ideas that we put inside Come Back to Bed, the book, the Forbes top of the top of the list. This made it at the top of Forbes 2021 books to read list. Number one Amazon bestseller. Great job to Mark Quinn on making all of that happen yeah, right. with me along with him. Um, Ronald Rodriguez, I really love this foot traffic driver. Um, you can't drive traffic all the time if you just sit inside your store. We talk a lot about partnerships, about getting creative. This is a really good one. Ronald Rodriguez reached out to local U-Hauls and apartment complexes for cross promotions. And if you think about it, anytime there's a housing start or there's somebody moving, they spend nine times as much on furniture and mattresses. So who's moving? People that rent U-Hauls, people that go to the rider truck spot, people that have a storage facility that they're renting out because they're in a transition. So think about all these different pieces of the puzzle attached to moving and go form those partnerships like Ronald did. That is really smart. Thank you, Ronald. Brought to you by Door Counts, the only known treatment for traffic blindness. No, the UPS guy didn't come into your store five times today. Those were customers, and you have no idea what happened to them. Door Counts is the cure for traffic blindness. Increase conversions, boost sales, and make customers happy. Visit doorcounts.com today. Okay, now you can talk about your sex stuff. Go. So we have, for a long time, um, noticed in the consumer marketplace people like selling food hardy's uh jewelry shampoo all kinds of car companies they use sex appeal to, a, to to really connect to the consumer and so um it just blows me away that here we are in the mattress industry and and so what does sex have to do with the car right so i guess it makes you attractive so maybe having a cool car leads to sex i don't know what it is food hardy's hamburgers don't really understand that at all and how that connects to intimacy. But anyway, so here we are in the mattress industry. We we are in the space and the products that we sell, people have sex on top of them. So we are literally connected to the entire process. Not only that, Kinsley, but a good mattress can improve the experience or a bad mattress can detract from the experience. So not only are we directly involved, but we can actually help you know, create something good or bad from it. So the point of this article is, Number one, does it work? And number two, if it does, what approach should you take? And um, what should you avoid? And who are some of the good actors in the, the in the industry who have actually done it and succeeded or who have done it and maybe not so much? So it's a, a fun article. It starts off very racy. I just want to warn everybody. The first two or three paragraphs Kinsley wrote, and it could be trouble for you, and you may just turn it off right away. How's that? Nice job, Quinn, on that article, and you were right. I think many people were sweating whenever they heard the introduction to that story. Uh, but you brought a full circle. You, you landed the plane nicely, and I think you made a pretty compelling case that you need to have a conversation with your sales team about when it does come up, what do you do? How do you treat it, Treat this whenever it's part of what people do on a mattress. Well, so go. nice job. Well, well done. Thank you. Thank right. you. Okay. You ready for another one? That's I a little bit hear racy. What you got to do. What is your number two? And let's get into that one. Well, this one's a little bit racy too, because this, uh, has a little bit of information about Gwyneth Paltrow. And she talks about a special candle that she made. Um, but ultimately it, we tie it back to the bedding business because Gwyneth Paltrow formed a partnership with for, through goop which is her lifestyle brand and avocado green mattresses and they created a twenty nine thousand dollar mattress sorry twenty two thousand dollar twenty nine layer mattress and i actually it was cool I, so brett thornton who has a podcast called just stories on fam.news uh, brought this to my attention during one of our conversations and and one of his retail managers ck ong which who, who i've spoken with on the phone has this 29 layer mattress this in, in a king so it's closer to fifty eight thousand bucks and so gwyneth paltrow has this uh this guide that she and the goop team put out and if you don't know what goop is go to goop.com and you can figure it all out uh, but they have this guide of like over the top eye-poppingly expensive items 
And so this partnership with Goop or with Avocado and the mattress they made was just such a cool story. And so we wanted to take you behind the scenes about Gwynny being in the betting biz. So there you have it. Okay, four fam.news audio stories to get you started, get you a little flavor of what's going on. Like we said earlier, go over to fam.news and subscribe. Um, you can subscribe to our emails and you get a, this next level out of this world, full and packed of information newsletter we're kicking out each week. And if you go to your iTunes app or your, your podcast app or wherever you get your podcast and you subscribe to the fam audio stories, you're going to get everything first because we put them up there as a bonus in those podcast streams first before they even go live on fam.news or before they even come to your inbox through the email. So hope you enjoyed that taste of it and, and make sure and let us know in the socials or in the comments, should, should Quinn turn the screws on Marriott even more? That's what people want to know. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have to. I think they're going to do the right thing, but I'm, I'm hopeful and I hope I come back and I tell a great story. Uh, Kinsley, I, I last want to add one comment to the, the audio stories, guys. If you're in your office, it's really nice, right? Because you want to read something, but you don't have the time. So just uh, hit the play button. It's really pretty cool. I love audio. I listen to books. I don't read them anymore. Um, I love the audio uh, representation of the written word, and I like for someone to read to me. So I love that part. I hope that you guys are excited by it, too. Kinsley, you and I are both going away. You're going to Florida, right, for... Um, spring break and you're going to well not okay it's not like i'm going down there and like shirts off mtv style i'm going down to a private condo i'm driving there's a private beach that this condo development has access to it's very safe um i'm not going to end up on mtv that's all i'm saying again well, I, 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 i'm not going to end up on there again did i say so yeah, again <laughs> Did I say you were going to go do a uh, Girls Gone Wild episode or something? Did I miss that? I don't recall saying that. I think. And by the way, you have a private condo. So is there a public condo where you can go and people just going to barrel in? No, the condo building has a private beach area oh, okay. that's, All right. that's contained. Well, you're, you, as fancy as you are, there's no question in my mind it's going to be like a first class place to go. So. I have high standards. You have huge, hugely high standards. I don't. That's why I don't mess around with Marriott. <laughs> You just told me you stayed at the same property I'm going to. So, yes, you do. I'm bringing back a monkey. It's a Weston property. Okay. What's is it? Weston owned by Marriott? Yes. There you go. There you go. But See, that's it's all, it's, all, it's all mixed together. It's just for the snobby people like you that like expect the big things. But um, anyway, so uh, we're both going to be away, guys. We hope if you're listening to this, we hope you're somewhere fun laying on a beach maybe. As you have a little bit of downtime, you're you're tuning in the Dos Marcos podcast or one of the other fam podcast shows. Uh, love you guys. All travel safe. Get good sleep. Relax. Take lots of naps when you're on spring break. And most of all, come back and see us when you get back because we have a lot planned after these vacations. We're going to be well rested and we're going to bring some A-game stuff. So we'll see you on the flip side. What is a hybrid? It's like peanut butter jelly, peanut butter chocolate, hybrid so tight there's no way that you